Hi guys, welcome to my channel, uh, Dimitri's Reviews. Today I'm going to give you uh, a short and uh, honest uh, uh, review of the fragrance that was released in 2017. I recently just tried it uh, called uh, Boss Bottle Tonic by Hugo Boss for Men. Um, now, usually what I do is I read the uh, notes and uh, some of the reviews from Rio Grande. Can I give you my uh, overview and recommendation whether I would recommend to buy it or not? So here it goes. Uh, one for Grantica. Um, it says that uh, Bass Bottle Tonic by Hugo Bass is a refreshing and not too intense uh, perfume for men. It is an ideal scent for work and everyday occasions. It contains notes of grapefruit, bitter orange, lemon, apple that provides zestiness at the top with spicy heart of ginger and cinnamon. The signature woody base of the fragrance line features a vetiver accord described as dry, earthy, and elegant. And again, this perfume was uh, released in 2017 uh, and the company intended it for, quote, modern men who aspire to succeed. Okay, so what do I think about this perfume? Uh, now, it is basically a summer version of uh, Boss Bottle. If you uh, tried Boss Bottle, it's a very popular uh, men's fragrance uh, that has been around for a long time. Now, this is basically the same thing in the base, except for the opening and probably the first, I would say, half an hour. It opens very fresh. It opens a uh, really fizzy, summery, um, kind of shower, soapy, uh, very pleasant, very pleasant opening. And then in about, I would say, half an hour, um, uh, you definitely feel the original DNA of Boss Bottled. Now, uh, for those of you who like Boss Bottled um, and you're looking for something that is more lighter, that is more versatile, um, especially right now to wear in summer, um, to work um, casually, um, it's a very versatile fragrance you can basically wear it everywhere anywhere and uh, you're not going to be disappointed you probably get some compliments but uh, my main complaint about this fragrance is the uh, longevity uh, I mean it's not terrible don't get me wrong um, it's not uh, something like uh, you know some of the, the the colognes that I recently reviewed like a Cartier uh, some other perfumes that just disappear in five minutes no but this one in particular uh, I would say um, the projection on my skin and the longevity is pretty poor uh, poor to moderate I would say that it lasts on my skin about three to four hours but again if you spray uh, more heavily and you spray it your clothes it will last longer of course so um, you know, is it uh, bottle worthy for me? No. Uh, the reasons why is because uh, I never really enjoyed the original boss, boss bot, so I'm not into that, uh, you know, uh, woody DNA uh, that boss bottle is so known for. And the second thing is the, is the longevity and projection. So it is kind of uh, mild to moderate. So that's that. But the opening is amazing. Uh, that I can definitely uh, attest to. It's um, it's a versatile fragrance. Can be really good for any from uh, worn by young men to older guys, no problem. Um, so again, it's a nice summer fragrance, um, and especially for. Uh, the fans of the original Boss Bottle, you will really like and enjoy it to wear in summer. Uh, for me, it's uh, not a really, uh, um, it's not worthy for me to, to buy the full bottle. I had a, you know, I bought a sample and, um, you know, I just wanted to, uh, to see what the hype is all about because I see a lot of 
uh, past reviews um, on YouTube uh, from uh, various uh, um, popular reviewers but you know for me personally again uh, I never enjoyed the original bottled uh, Hugo Boss bottled and uh, therefore the tonic which is uh, lighter and summary ver summary version of the same fragrance I really you know um, would not buy the full bottle again uh, if you like this kind of content short to the point please subscribe to my channel please uh, leave me a comment positive or negative uh, if you have any new fragrances that uh, you uh, would want me to review or you um, you've been using that no one knows about it that's what we call hidden gems please let me know I'd love to try them this is my passion and uh, I would definitely be very grateful thank you so much for tuning and uh, hope to see you again thank you so much